Welcome back to ASVAB Roadmap. Today, we're going to learn about working with percentages. So let's jump right into it. We are all aware of percentages, as they're used everywhere in society. There was a sale today, 10% off. Leave a 20% tip after the meal. Today, there is a 50% chance of rain. So what are these things? Well, in Latin, centum means 100. So percent literally means out of 100. It's just a way of conveying magnitude by modifying some total into 100, and then reporting a value of interest as some fraction of that 100. If you get a 90% on your math quiz, you could have gotten 9 points out of 10, 18 out of 20, or 450 out of 500, or any other number that obeys this ratio of 90 out of 100. In this way, percentages are ratios. They are just very specific ratios that compare numbers to 100. Because although this number is completely arbitrary, it is an ideal size for comparison. 100 is small enough that our brains can easily comprehend its magnitude, but at the same time large enough that we can make meaningful comparisons. In this way, we can look at percentages as simple fractions. 80% is 80 one hundredths. We learned how to simplify fractions, so let's divide both of these numbers by 20. We should get 4 fifths. This means that 80% and 4 fifths are equivalent. They mean the same thing. Moving to another example, 50% is 50 one hundredths. And dividing both numbers by 50, we get 1 half. This makes sense as 50 is half of 100. If you have something like 3%, that is 3 one hundredths. And that can't be simplified any further. We should be able to convert between percentages, fractions, and even decimals in this way with relative ease. Alright guys, that was working with percents. Try out the comprehension questions at the end of this video. Then we'll see you in the next video.